uh, the state board will be visiting us within the next 30 days to talk about landfill closure and what we're doing. Uh, in addition, um, we have been having conversations with uh, the Solid Waste Division, and uh, it does look like there's some activity that we need to move forward on in this year. So one of the things I would propose that I, I think you could do legitimately is the, there's a significant general fund subsidy that's going to the Solid Waste Division, as you've talked about many times with these agreements. So if we merely reallocated where the revenues are coming from the solid waste division and i would propose to you that we would reduce the general fund subsidy to the solid waste budget to the tune of fifty thousand dollars and we add a new revenue of fifty thousand dollars coming from the solid waste uh, trust fund for the closure activities because we are going to spend more time uh, over the course of the next year based on this discussion and some things we knew was down the pike. It is a net zero sum game and you get the $50,000 that you're looking for to fund the EMS agencies. And in addition that we could commit because as I previously stated, a budget is good the day you adopt it. You could give direction to us that you're interested in in the executive office and the auditor finding alternative mechanisms to create additional money for the teeter plan uh, we won't make that payment till later in the year so we can go forward with uh, with uh, a little project to understand the uh, uh, how we best can utilize these sources of revenue and come back to you with an action plan so with those items that i would propose to you i think we could be done today and uh, all we need is direction from your board Supervisor? I completely concur, but there's two issues that I'd like on that list. I'd like to see the MS funding uh, raised to 54000 to recognize my the travel, the $4,000 travel. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't support spending the $25,000 in IS for the electronic agenda. I, I think that needs to be discussed. I don't, I don't know how I stand with the rest of the board on that, but... So we're not even talking. If we do that, we're not even talking about having to transfer fifty thousand. It's twenty-five. The the twenty-five thousand is already included in our budget. That's what I'm numbers. saying. I will, so, if you take it out of the budget, then that will add to the positive fund balance. Right, and that just takes an affirmative action from the three of the five board members. Your four thousand dollars, Johnny. We would leave in the board's budget. The auditor could move it into the EMS agency through a journal entry transfer. So we don't have to take any separate action there. That's just we know you got that commitment, and we can do a journal entry and move it out of your budget into the EMS. So again, I would submit to you that um, if we make an accounting correction of that fifty thousand dollars, that we can be done today. Okay. I can't and, say it, but. Okay. Super. I was going to have some comments, but go ahead. Let's go, go ahead. I, I come um, well, I was going to propose something similar to the CEO uh, 580000 starting amount. Um, our closure and maintenance is 286 Throw in an additional $200,000 into the closure uh, amount. That would allow for a remainder of $94,000 still fulfilling our commitment to maintenance, closure, and extra into closure, just siphoning off 94000 to go into the available funds, adding it into the 942, and then we'd actually come out with a plus balance for contingency, et cetera. And, uh, go from there so it's very similar to what you were talking about um, I think 94,000 out of 580 is not going to bring the wrath of a big brother down on us we're still making that commitment um, uh, and we can achieve some of the other items that we're discussing um, without moving 4,000 here and donating 4,000 there and and all those types of things um, just I would, trying to wrap it up. I, I would ask that you make a correction to your statement about siphoning off money. Uh, <laughs> that that would reallocating be, reallocating <laughs> money. Thank you very much. Um, and our proposal is based upon uh, actual staff time. 
uh, being billed by the solid waste division to the trust fund. So it is, it is an accurate representation of uh, legitimate charges that are going to that fund sure. and sure. then increasing, decreasing the general fund subsidy. So we would deal with it through an accounting correction in the final budget documents. Certainly my comments were not to make light of this situation. So Supervisor Smith. Thank you. Um, I still want to have a full uh, discussion on the documents that, that I asked regarding the teeter plan because I think that we need to look at what what that is and why it's on the board and and uh, I, you know I just want to see the accounting for that. So I, I still want to proceed with that aspect of the discussion. Can we hold off on that till we get this other straightened out? Well, or it's part of it. Yeah, it's all part of the. Okay, Supervisor Colfax. Well, I'm not convinced here on the basis of what I see, and I, maybe I just uh, was not not processing what was being presented here. But on the basis of looking at 4511 and the numbers that are here, I, I don't uh, I don't get any sense of. I'm not confident looking at the rise and fall and the inability or the uh, lack of uh, an explanation here as to why these numbers change in this fashion. And then the question becomes on the basis of the document that's presented to us, it looks to me like we're kind of locked into this and we're under, again, we got to be very careful here about saying we are or are not doing this or that, but somehow it's been turned into something, yeah, we'll just do this and then we'll do that and we'll do this and all of our problems are solved. So 